Welcome back to Logan Rano Aquascaping. My name is Logan, and today I'm gonna to show you guys five different ways to clean your aquarium glass. But make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because at the very end, I'm gonna tell you what my top pick is. So let's get started. Okay, so there are many different ways to clean your aquarium glass. And as you progress through the hobby, you probably get more and more curious about what is the most efficient way, what are the best tools I can use? So let's start with the most basic. I feel like when you get into this hobby, most folks start off by using something as simple as a toothbrush. And if you have a super small tank, like a little nano tank, Toothbrush gets the job done, but you'll very quickly realize that it's a little bit inefficient because you have to go around and manually find places to clean and you often miss spots. So soon after that, you end up upgrading to something a little bit more efficient. And that is where the credit card comes in handy. So everybody has some old credit cards or maybe school IDs lying around. And these are excellent because they're a lot more flat than the toothbrush. Now, the advantage of the toothbrush is that it can get in the corners and move around and get on to the silicone, but with the credit card, you can really go through efficiently from left to right on the glass and make sure that you're working the entire surface. So the credit card has some advantages over the toothbrush. And if you have both of them available to you, which I would assume most of us do, they work really well in conjunction with each other. But what do you do if you have some really stubborn algae on your glass, like green spot algae, and you need something a little bit more abrasive? And that's where the Dennerla Cleanator comes in handy. So so the advantage of this is it's two-sided and one side has a steel wool on it and the other side is a traditional sponge. And the cool thing about this is both sides are safe on the glass and won't scratch the glass. So you can actually use the stainless steel side on your glass to scrub away stubborn algae. And that's really cool. Additionally, it sort of combines the idea of the toothbrush and the credit card all in one because it's malleable. So you'll be able to work the glass with one side and you'll be able to get into the corners and the silicone of your glass because it's malleable. So that's super cool. The only downside of this is they're rather expensive. So at $6 a pop, you know, you'll have to replace these every few months and that can definitely add up. Whereas with the credit card and the toothbrush, you know, you can probably use it for years without any sort of replacement. Other downside is occasionally the stainless steel part starts to degrade and you can accumulate little pieces of it in your aquarium. So something to keep in mind, but a really awesome tool. Now let's move on to something even more high tech and more efficient. And that takes us to the razor scraper. So most of the major brands manufacture one of these, but this is just a generic one that I bought from Amazon for around $30. It came with a bunch of razors and I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it. It works on all types of algae, especially really stubborn algae, and it's very ergonomic. So you have a slight bend that allows you to go in and very efficiently work the glass and make sure that every inch of it is covered. The biggest downside of this tool is if you're trying to get in the tight nooks and crannies, you might have issue with the razor making complete contact with the glass. So it does best in a tank that you can easily reach all four sides of the tank. Additionally, you're unable to use the razor on the silicone of your tank safely. So you don't wanna be scratching up the silicone parts with this razor, you'll degrade it. So you'll have to clean the silicone itself with a second tool. But overall, this is an amazing tool for getting the glass cleaned in a really efficient, pretty sleek way. And finally, tool number five is one that perhaps you guys haven't heard of as much. It is the Mr. Clean Dry Eraser. And this is a tool that was actually recently brought to my attention as something that is completely safe for your aquarium and is really, really effective. Of course, it won't scratch the glass and it is completely non-toxic for your fish, your plants, your shrimp, and your snails. So this is gonna work wonders on your glass. And the cool thing is they're completely malleable. So just like the Dennerla Cleanator, you can use these in the corners of your tanks, on the top rim and all around the glass. And it's totally safe to use near your fish. So most of us have these lying around the house if you're already using it to clean, but it's very, very important that you buy the original Mr. Clean version because some of the off brands use different chemical compositions. This one has been tested the most in aquariums and it's also highly important that you don't use one with additives like a scent or a dish soap. Make sure you get the original that has no additional added scents or cleaning components. So this is a super cool one and after reviewing all these tools I have to admit I use them all in different combinations but if I could just pick one I would probably have 
have to stick with my razor scraper. And then a close second for me would probably be the toothbrush. Even though it's pretty low tech, I just love having something that can get in all corners of the tank that I can really apply some elbow grease to. So those are my top two picks, but these are all awesome tools that I personally think you should have in your arsenal. So let me know down below in the comments if there's a tool that you think I missed that you love to use when cleaning your aquarium glass. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.